So I became a data analyst about a year ago. But before that, when I was in my statistics major, I really wanted to be a data scientist. But now I have the unique opportunity to work with a bunch of data scientists. So I have the unique ability to answer the question, what's the difference between the two jobs? Now, first of all, what does a data analyst do? We're taking data from the past and we're trying to aggregate it and analyze it and say, okay, here's what happened in the past. Let's move forward with some of that information. So a data analyst mainly uses things like SQL and R or Python or Excel. And they take data from the past, they pull it using SQL, and then they take that data and aggregate it up to a level that you can report to your stakeholders or your managers about what has happened in the past based on prior data. So one example for me would be looking at a specific market segment, which means just an area of our business. So that's just a certain subset of members over for our overall population of those who have our insurance. And we're looking at what conditions they have, what hospitals they're going to, maybe even what programs we offer or the provider offers that they're actually being involved with or being targeted for. And then we're trying to gather an entire view into these members and say, here's where we're doing well, here's where we're not doing well, and what are we going to do moving forward? So really what a data analyst does is look at all of the past data, kind of aggregate that up into a way that makes sense to display to your managers or stakeholders, and then you kind of work with them to figure out what are the areas we can improve on and what are the areas we can move into. Now what a data scientist will do on the flip side is they'll take a lot of similar data as what we take, but they just are going to be more so predicting into the future than what a data analyst would be doing. So for an example, for a data scientist, they might be taking the same claims data that we're using for our analysis, but they might be looking at it on just the matter of trying to predict how much these members are going to be spending at the hospital or with their providers over the next two years. They might also be trying to predict what the what is the risk of developing a certain disease. So they might use all this data, use some statistics and probability to predict the likelihood of some of these things happening. Now, the cool thing about working with data scientists is that we kind of work hand in hand. We can present some of our analysis to them and they can give us the correct models to use. We can give them some data that we've maybe even curated and they can use that to fit additional models. Also, they can give us models that will help us now, the interesting thing is that sometimes their work will overlap. So sometimes data analysts will be fitting models or using kind of more advanced techniques. And sometimes data scientists are going to have to use their own models and predictions to actually perform an analysis. So really, at the end of the day, we're all working with the same data. We're all working in the same company and solving the same problems. We're just using different techniques and we're doing it in a different way. Now, hey, real quick, if you want to become a data analyst yourself, I'm going to put one link in the description this time. It's to a Google form. Just fill it out. If you're interested, I'm going to be offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. You'll be answering a few questions, and then I'll kind of give you an outline of what you can do in the next year or two years so that you can become a data analyst yourself. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and check out that link in the description. Fill out a quick form, and I'll have your info, and I'll get back to you. But other than that, thanks for watching.